friendly mix. Good question. Last year, uh, costume opened up the second act or the second half. I'm not sure if we. Uh, so then I think if we've got stuff on display and we want to interact with people, but then that's we have to then. Okay, so how long are we having it? That's why. That's how long are we having it on display then? Is it the same display for the whole event? Yeah. Okay. Um, the one garment that you are creating won't be on display. Okay. So that's two other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Because that model will be there at the front, at the beginning, made up. Okay. And well, that will be on display, but it'll be on the model one. Yeah. Okay. And then they'll go backstage at the start. Just in case people don't understand the difference, uh, fashion collection, uh, how many pieces three do we have to outfit? Three to five outfits. Um, if they're parade worthy and they will be judged, uh, we'll go out onto the runway. With costume, given the intricacies and the hair, makeup, size, age, character. type of model, character, um, the he I'm calling it the hero outfit, I don't mean to be rude, but the champion outfit will be paraded the remaining outfits will be on static display in the foyer before the event and during the interval for people to look at but not touch. <laughs> yeah. And we'd do some visual merchandising for that and have your names up and make it look already professional. And at, at the moment, I'm still thinking it's probably how it'll happen at the beginning of the second half. It's going to be a much bigger and more impressive portion of the parade this year because it's just wonderfully all the costume students have agreed to participate. So I think it's going to be a really impactful reception. Now, in terms of publicity, promotion, getting your name out there, being recognised, future employment opportunities, pathways, this is the night of nights. We have a lot of industry, a lot of high profile people. Um, it's one of these most sought after tickets because last year's event was sold out and we had people saying, can I please have a VIP ticket for XYZ? Sorry, it's full. Cool people that are in there from media to industry are important people so it, it's your night to celebrate and enjoy but it's also your night to shine and to if it's your desire to start the next pathway on from being a graduate into a vocation or a, a future pathway um, and we have a really good connection with industry officer you guys would know that um, your staff would be bombarded with emails from me once you graduate the first thing you need to tell people you're out there at the moment helen is our employment uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we do have a very strong connection with the fashion industry so we do invite pretty much everyone we think is relevant i'm always happy for you to email me if there's someone that you think we've missed but you'll probably find we haven't missed them or we've invited them for several years and they don't come and we're not going to waste their energy anymore However, with costume, we have invited costume people before and Zebra sent me an email about this during the week. I think we struggle because it's a new qualification and also with the relevance that they see, which I hope will change over time, mm. for them to come because it's not a um, theatre production and it's not a film preview and it's a little bit different. So I'm really happy to work with you guys to target some costume VIPs, um, but I need those names from you and it may mean that you need to be part of the encouragement to get them to come along. Mm. Because I think that we can send them an invite, but I'm sure that many of them get hundreds of invites, yeah. and we want to be the one that stands out for them to come. So with the costume students, if you have people specifically, please um, work with me. We can co-send the invite. You can chase them up, things like that. Yeah. I think we have a placement happening with State Theatre Company at so SA. Yeah. Yeah. So, doing stuff so it'd be great for head of wardrobe to come in from State Theatre. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And, and the more we get known, then the, the more organic it will become in future years. Mm. Yeah. And Anita will come, and she'll bring her hand pencils with her as yeah. well. But it's just it's those ones that maybe you really want to come, but we need to get you back. Now, do on. we have a library of previous parades that students can access and they're can all view? On, um, they're all on YouTube. So if you want to have a look on YouTube, um, I, if I were you, I'd be wanting to see the end. Like what happens at the end when I come out with my model? What does that look like? Some students, and there's no pressure, there's no obligation here, like to actually theme what they're wearing with their collection. So you kind of blend in, with, but there's no pressure to do that. I'm not saying you've got to make an extra outfit. Last year, but no pressure. <laughs> yeah. It's all got leftover fabric, haven't you? It was really cool last year. Like, the finale, as we call it, is not intended to cause anxiety or stress. It's actually an opportunity for you to enjoy that moment in the sun. 
because whoever's in the audience, and hopefully you've all got someone in the audience auditioning for you, it's their moment and it's our moment to acknowledge you. So like when you, it, this is part of your graduation. It's not the parchment and the cap and gown. That part happens at Flinders. But for me, this is the exciting part of your graduation because you're under lights. And in previous years, we've had people come on, model, graduate, walk on stage, walk off stage. This year, we want to have everyone up on stage so it's a big sort of class shot of 2021. We want to have everyone on stage together at the end. Then the audience can all clap and then we can bring the lights down and show over. Will the stage hold us all? It will, yeah. <laughs> it's professional. Yeah, come on the second time without your model. We probably yeah. fit everyone on with your model. And then sure you're free to go and celebrate and have your after parties and hopefully don't get too messy and stay sensible. Now the one rider we have to have with this, which is sad, but we're living in a pandemic at the moment, is all of this is subject to the, the emergency act that we're under at the moment. So fingers crossed it's all okay. Um, I'm assuming, and this will all be clarified, we'll still be under QR codes and face masks, uh, whether they have to be worn once you're seated, all that will be explained. Not necessarily. They released the roadmap today, the uh, premiere. Yes. So it might not be, yeah. So they're yeah. saying that they try, they'll try not to lock down at all. And the roadmap is fluid. It's all subject yeah. to changes and interstate and what happens nationally. So fingers yeah. crossed it'll all go well. <laughs> Should be fine. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to clarify how you said the short list goes backstage 45 minutes beforehand. Yes, yes. And then so does the winners get announced before the parade starts? Yeah, so that's a good, sorry, I jumped over that part because I've, I've done a few of these now with the team. Uh, I will come out and open the show. I'll do a welcome to country. We'll acknowledge the VIPs. And then I'll invite a key spokesperson from Homestart Finance. And he or she will make the award for student of the year. I think we do lecturer's choice first, then we do yeah. student of the year. And that's at the top of the show. So whoever's waiting backstage, it's uh, a, a couple of nervous minutes, maybe three or four minutes. We try and keep the suit part of it, the speeches, to a minimum because people aren't there to hear people like me and other people mm. drone on. It's about seeing your wonderful work. Yeah. So once that's done, you'll come back behind stage and then you'll have to find your way back up to the audience. Yeah, okay. Where you're sitting, yeah. I've got to prep myself for when I win. <laughs> <laughs> what the positive attitude? Your name is? You are? Oh, Stacey. <laughs> so I can't remember all your names, but I'll do the stage thing now. You don't have to ask me questions now. You've got uh, Helen, and you've got Michelle, you've got Tina, <laughs> Sophie. Sophie. Um, Mary Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> Please share this with any other students that aren't here today because knowledge is power. So 1st of November, trybooking.com. Really simple process. Uh, your tickets will go be, if you're using your phone, you get it and put it in your Apple wallet or if you're on Android, you save it somewhere else. Yep, scan it and come in. Any now, there's one caveat to opening on the oh. 1st of November, and I think you all might know what that is. The oh, the name. Yeah, the we've name. decided the name. The name. Yes. Oh, and what is the name? You. Huge. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Well, that's what... F-U-S-T-D. We said to it yesterday, so... F-U-S-T-D. Yeah. All right, I will be forwarding that right now. Is, that a, is everyone in agreement, fashion and costume? Oh, all right. I'm really diplomatic here. Yeah. 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 Oh, all right, okay, good.